different beast when it comes to going to have to be so, so passive and so smart with how they pick their pockets with Pokemon Trainer versus Pac-Man. Yeah, and I like immediately just coming right off the bat, you see that Ivysaur is the selection, uh, not even bothering with Squirtle. Nook was aware of how passive this game is likely to be. However, we are going to get right into the game, and we're going to start off immediately with Fruits Chart. Uh, the pressure already getting put on by Noku, looking solid. You want to have Pac-Man on the platforms like this. Um, really, Noku, solid start already. Ooh, however, since you're responding in kind, that quick dare. Yeah, Ivysaur is really simple uh, starting combos. So unlike Squirtle, uh, who might be more vulnerable to Pac-Man's like, really quick escape options. Ivysaur is just going to be able to get two chunky up airs, and it can do some nice even percent. In addition, that Razor Leaf is huge because it goes completely through Pac-Man's Hydrant. Pac-Man cannot sit behind the Hydrant like he can versus most characters. Yeah, really disruptive thus far. However, since he has managed to deal with it relatively well, currently in that ledge trap situation that Pac-Man is so good with, especially in characters that are limited like Charizard, has uh, this Charizard in the corner. Okay, quick up air. Just get the damage. And this is rough because you start out with uh, with Ivysaur in the hope of like getting a nice early combo. Now you're instantly forced to Charizard just to survive, and now you've got really hope for some cheese or something, but didn't get belled. Yeah, and since he had that bell at the ready, fully charged up, uh, now has to get out of the corner himself, although this is a really potentially dangerous spot! Goodness gracious! With the key off the side, potentially a game-ending uh, really situation there. Being down two stocks. However, since he's still position wise excellently, um, you know, position thus, thus far in this match. And this fair has been putting in so much work for Sinji thus far. Okay, Glassing getting interrupted there by the bear. However, Noku really struggling to get out of the corner. And I am reminded immediately of, of Noku's set versus. Oh no, that was Bubble versus John. To disregard what I just said. But uh, immediately, just Sinji is dominating this game in the advantage state. Is this going to look back? Okay. Yeah, that was cheeky right there, but it seems like Noku just simply has not even had a chance to think about what to do. Yeah. This has been getting really smothered because I think you're just, at this point, when you're at such a deficit, and you're trying to force something, and Sinji wants them to force something so bad because that's when you can just do a bunch of stuff like stuffing out with jump fares, pivot grab potentially, and that bell, of course. Yeah, and especially that Pac-Man is incredibly good at, it is forcing those approaches. Um, Pac-Man gets so much damage, and we have seen Sinji just do an excellent job of that so far, along with truly excellent positioning. Um, however, stuck in the corner right now, Noku looking for that ledge trap in the corner with those nares. Obviously, Char 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 Nair, super huge hitbox. Ooh. Okay. And, um, we've been seeing Sinji do some rising aerials on Charizard's shield. That, I feel like, can be punished, but Noku's just, like, a little bit too scared to pull the trigger. I know Charizard's up smash is very fast in addition to that up B, but the up throw yes. <laughs> will take it right there. Three and, ups. And yes, the, um, yeah, that is really big for Noku. You really want to take, take that stock without taking some damage. You probably won't take this stock first. You are Charizard, though, so you never know. Um, however, you do, at the very least, want to get some damage, and that's already what's happening here uh, for Noku. Um, since, and Sinji at the moment really has been struggling to kill. It's been a while that Noku has been at this really high percent range. Um, and the survivability of Charizard has really, really been helping him out thus far. Ooh, pressure by Sinji getting up smashed immediately. Ooh. Yeah, I feel like some confidence was instilled in Noku after that up throw. You know, finally being able to break through the defenses and get a stop. And that is a rough way to go, though. Yeah, that Hydrant is still active. Kind of a surprise there after getting hit by the Flame Breath. Um, however, uh, Sinji, while in a good position, certainly a worse position than that first stock around. Double fair, though. Scary positioning. That strawberry covering so much space. Nair, double Nair, up air. Looking for a quick combo. Would have been really interesting. That would be quite a traditional Pac-Man combo there for sure. However, this 675% margin is now uh, we are reaching that Bell percentage, right? We, we are now reaching the point where Bell up smash, Bell up smash will be taking that stock. So Noku needs to be so careful with how they are getting back down to the ground, how they are getting out at disadvantage. And right there, really tricky option ends up working out for Noku. Has to get the stock off here, though. Yeah, and I feel like this Ivysaur, you know, he started with it and he seemed really confident in it. But I feel like we have not seen, um, we have not seen, like, a really good combo come from that Noku Ivysaur. I feel like the Charizard has been the one that's been doing the most work. So I feel like he's gonna have to figure out how to utilize Ivy if he wants to have any, um, if he wants like even this gap up a bit. But that means that the Charizard able to close it out again, been pretty reliable in doing that. But now 120% deficit. 
right? And this is quite the margin for no people to get past. However, uh, again, this Ivyzo has posed a little bit of a threat here and there. So he has been able to, rel relatively speaking, handle it. Um, but it's, we're going to need a big combo here. And this is a potentially one. Ooh, the DI by SMG. Nice. di right out on reaction to that. Ooh. Pressure on the shield. Sinji now has Noku in the corner. Oh, but a really tricky upbeat right there by Noku. That's gonna be it. Quick back air, bell back air. The conversion there, pretty nice by Sinji. Can take game number one. Yeah, we saw right there, Sinji. You know, Ivysaur does have the ability to kind of contest a bit from a longer range with that uh, Razor Leaf because it goes through Hydrant. We saw so there, Sinji just kind of pressured the shield really freely against Ivysaur. He doesn't have as fast of an option as Charizard when it comes to mashing on the shield. And so we saw he did like fair nair hit Ivysaur, able to get in that ledge trap situation. Uh, one quick word from the higher ups here at House of 3000. We have Matcharino back online. Oh. So this is going to be a long game, you know. And I want to see, can we get to can we get to two dollars by the end yeah. of this game? Two dollars by the end of the game. That's a reasonable of request. Yeah, so Matcharino's back. Simple Matcharino. Let's get let's get two dollars by the end of this game. With that said, though, um, going into this game number two. We are going to need to see kind of a big adaptation by um, Noku. And there's one right there, actually, um, using utilizing that up throw instead of the down throw. Since he's been DIing those down throws out, making it incredibly difficult to make those combos come out. Um, and that up throw was really useful there for Noku. However, still down a decent percent margin. Excellent parry right there to get the punishment that dash deck normally completely unpunishable. Yeah, this is, once again, not a single, like, nice Ivysaur string has been able to happen. Uh, Noku only gains small hits here and there, and when you take an 84% combo off the bat and die to a bell, those small hits are just not enough. Not yeah. enough at all. And this game number two has started off immediately echoing game number one with a quick stop by Sinji to start this game off. Um, and again, I mean, normally we, we, we do associate Sinji with kind of this kind of slow-paced play. And while Sinji kind of has played defensively, the games themselves have been fast. Like, we were only a minute into this game, and stock's already gone. Um, which for, for, for a, a, a Sinji match is certainly on the faster side. And um, really, it's just been Sinji constantly being able to put pressure on. Now, like you mentioned, Ivy's out of shield, not so good. Tough to deal with the Pac-Man shield pressure. Yeah, and I feel like it has been fast because Noku's letting it get out of hand, you know? It's like Sinji's sticking with his solid game plan, and Noku's just keeps running at him resentlessly to the point where Sinji doesn't have to play it slow because he keeps getting these free openings. And look at this, so much confidence coming out from Sinji right now. I feel like he totally has a read on this Ivysaur. Yeah, you can kind of feel like the confidence come out on, on Sinji, I feel like, when uh, he starts going for fruit that are not bell and key at high percents. Um, like, like that orange, like that cherry, like that uh, strawberry that we've seen. Yeah, Sour Spot, uh, S-Mass still super duper strong. He'll be able to take down stock. And Sinji in an excellent position. Far better. But that fair finally getting punished. Charizard uh, doing what was needed. And I feel like, again, like you mentioned, Charizard really has been the MVP here. Yeah, and one who has been the no, no player has been Squirtle, you know, just like not used once. And, you know, I know why you wanted to start Ivysaur. But I feel like Squirrel still is small with good speed. Like, he still has tools to get around zoning. So I really don't know why he's been so reluctant to try and give the Squirrel a shot. Yeah, really can't punish that move, as we mentioned before. That dash attack's super safe. And the thing that is the thing with Squirtle, right? Um, while, while, while being super small and, you know, agile, Squirtle does kind of have that issue of, of lacking super good um, aerial mobility and super good, um, you know, kind of closing speed on Pac-Man. There's a lot of things that are disruptive for, to him. And it's been really difficult for that Squirtle to get in. Um, but really, even the projectile use of Ivysaur has made it difficult. And really, since he's just on top of this right now, 92%, only 11% taken. Oh, ooh, great stall right there by uh, Noku. Going to be able to live another day. And we're going to see, uh, that has to be a huge lunch trap from um, Noku there. Ends up missing out on it. Okay, and right here, I mean, Sinji doesn't care really about these Razor Leafs, you know? When you have such a commanding lead, like, you can just let him throw it out and wait for him to come to you. That being said, finally getting some good old Ivysaur fair and Ooh. a B cheese, oh, but dead. too little, too late. Look at that bell into down smash right there. That was just commanding from Sinji. And I do, yeah, incredibly commanding, really dominant uh, game by Sinji. I do want to point something out very quickly, though. Um, a really nice play by Sinji there um, was recognizing after he threw bell that a Razor Leaf was thrown at the same time, and Sinji rolled through the Razor Leaf right there to get the down smash. It's okay. We can let, let it play one time. Let it play. Let it play. Oh, yeah. And then, and then we'll come back to it. Um, but yeah. 
boom. And like you see, just just before that, just before that, yoink, 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 yoink. Ah, uh, there you go. He's okay, there we go. So yes, pause, and you can see as since you did that. Oh goodness. I'm, okay. Whoops. <laughs> All right. So yes, let me go back just a little bit. Are we, okay, never mind. Yeah. Let, All right. Let it play. Okay. I think. Okay, I think the race yeah, this is, is coming out. This, this is it's coming. So you can see here, since he throws bell, as the bell's coming out, um, Noku does not recognize this just yet. Obviously, this is not within reaction time, and is throwing out a rage relief to catch this landing. Right. Bell is now out. That rage relief is there. Sinji, on the other hand, rage relief is really slow. Right. So you can react to rage relief pretty well. Sinji recognizes that and immediately sees Bell is going to hit. Instant roll. Gets through the Razor Leaf. And then it's just as simple as down smashing. Yeah, clean stuff. Definitely season Pac-Man right there. To yeah. be able to know when after Bell, when you know it's going to hit, but knowing you have to roll right there, yeah. just, I mean, does it get more season just than good, Sinji? Just good recognition. And you mm -hmm. love to see that kind of play. Um, that's the kind of play you're going to get in New York City Smash, and especially the kind of play you're going to see at House 3000.